innocent still. Yeah, one of the lessons that that you might say is the ultimate lesson too is is that as you uh, go higher and higher in states of mind, you really start to get that that communication is not limited to the body. Uh, and I think a lot of us, you know, either through being with people who who have transitioned or in my case um, I was guided to go become a hospice uh, volunteer and that really showed me that communication was not limited by the body because I was just there. I went through like weeks of volunteer training and then when I finally got my chance to go and be on the hospice ward, uh, I was really deep into the course and I was having all these kind of mystical experiences with the workbook. Uh, they were showing me all kinds of things, really showing me transcendent states of mind and experiences and then I would go in day by day and as I would walk through the hospice ward, they would give me like taking trays of food down to different people and everything. I would take a tray of food and I'd start walking down the hallway and I would get called in uh, to the rooms with the pss, pss, in here, pss, you know, and, and I'm like, I think I'm just going about my volunteer job, but I'd go in there and I would have these powerful holy encounters where the Spirit would just pour through me by invitation as I, w I would just go where I was literally invited and I would go in there and the Holy Spirit would pour through me saying all kinds of things about you you did a great job, uh, thank you for everything you've done, uh, your family is so grateful, uh, you have no reason to feel guilty, it's just this, you know, well, well done, well done and you're innocent and a lot of it was just different teachings of pure innocence. That, that's really what would pour through. And then I would come out, I would go take the food where I was going. I kept getting called in day after day and, and I had a very high checkout rate uh, because they, you know, a lot of times with hospice people will hang on for a long period of time. My checkout rate was really good. <laughs> I would, I, I basically cleared the ward, uh, uh, you know, because, because it, death is a decision, uh, the transition to death is a decision and, and people were just seemingly hanging on because of guilt. You know, they thought they'd let their parents down or they couldn't leave somebody behind and they were guilty, guilty, guilty. And I was just there to serve and I, I was, it was part of my phase of learning to let the Holy Spirit not only speak to me but speak through me which was a, I was very shy when I was younger so that was a big one. So it happened and then I'd come in and I'd say, where's so and so? And th oh, they checked out <laughs> last night and everything. I said, oh yeah, I just talked to them too. Okay, <laughs> clear the ward. So you know, it's all this stuff about healing the sick and raising the dead and I've had my experiences with those as well but I always loved the hospice ones uh, for that particular reason because it was always a teach in guiltlessness. Teaching myself that I was sinless and I was guiltless and then seeing that people were reflecting that by saying, oh, I don't have to hang on to this earthly condition anymore. I can get it. I can see my innocence and that was the whole point of the whole thing anyway.